No worries, Mia. Yeah, I'll go straight to the seventh floor and check it out. It's under control. See you soon. Jenna, darling. Got you a cappuccino with a sprinkle of nutmeg, just like you like. Thanks. You're an angel. Yes, I am. Morning, guys. My helmet. I need to get plenty of close-ups of this ring, lots of light bouncing <clears throat> off of it, lots of sparkle, especially when Alec is about to get on one knee and propose. I know. It's all about the ring and the romance. Go. Oh, Tiff, looks like you're wearing the wrong lipstick. It's supposed to be forever yours red, not come hither red. <clears throat> Makeup. Morning, Mr. Dyer. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be down in a minute. Explore. Jenna, it's good to see you. Hey, Miss Hall. How do you like your new trend location? Oh my gosh, we love it. And you did such a great job designing the offices. Designing the trend offices was a dream project. Hmm. Well, you've made us love this building even more. <laughs> I never thought I'd meet anyone who clocked more hours than me, but you and Mia certainly have me beat. Yeah, well, I guess working for Mia has been my dream project. <laughs> <laughs> she has built a very impressive fashion empire. Pretty much single-handedly. Well, I hope she doesn't have you working through Christmas. First floor. <laughs> Not this year. This year, I am spending it with my dad. Oh, the one man who always thinks you're his princess and never lets you down. Uh, I wish. Actually, things have been a bit estranged between me and my dad ever since he remarried a woman who's become a bit of a step monster. Oh, it's a tough load. Yeah. What about you? Any special Christmas plans? Let's just say I think I'll be enjoying this Christmas much more than the last one. Mm. <laughs> I have some materials from you, so I'll see you soon. Great. Have a great day. Got some flowers for you from John Ford. Please give those to whoever you give them to and write him a lovely thank you note from me. You don't even want Mr. Ford's flowers, huh? No, they're far too Christmassy and red. I thought you were just as bah humbug about the holidays as I am. You know, not this year. This year, I'm kind of looking forward to Christmas. Oh, so uh, your lunch meeting with designer Kiko Komodo has been moved from 12.30 to 1, and I've adjusted all of your afternoon appointments accordingly. Oh, what about that? And a contract is being messenger to Mr. Dyer. I called him to confirm. Terrific. How'd the shoot look? Christmas romantic. Glad I missed it. I'll give him two accounts. Perfect. Accounts. Good evening, Boston. Temperatures are dropping, and there's a chance of snow in the forecast. Better bundle up. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas out there. Hi, Dad. Hi, Jen. So, I uh, got your text. Uh, are we good for me to book my flight from the 21st to the 27th, like we discussed? Uh, you know, why don't, why don't you make it uh, 23rd through the 26th? Okay. Um, <laughs> that doesn't really... Give us much time together. Yeah, I know, but, uh... Ruth's uh, kids and the grandkids are going to be here, and the, and the place is just going to be crazy. Right. Okay, yeah, um, I can book it for the 23rd to the 26th. All right, good. It's all set. Need your help, Jim. Uh, need your help, Jim. Ruth's calling me. I, I, I gotta Jim, go. I need your help. Bye, Dad. Love you. Love you, too. Hey, neighbor. 
Hope you're hungry. <laughs> Don't come in and this is something I want. Chengdu chicken and chow mein and Chengdu chicken and chow mein. Oh, tough choice. Wow, look at these designs. These are stellar. Look at you cranking them out. You show them to Mia yet? No. Uh, I haven't. I'll probably wait till after Christmas. What? No. No, you always have an excuse. A holiday, Christmas, graduation, a birthday. Do it now. I will. I'm just... Look, I'm not ready yet. You're ready. All right, well, have you uh, heard from Abby? No. What kind of girl breaks up right before Christmas? I don't know, maybe one who wants something more, like a commitment. Well, I guess I'm just not ready for that then. Oh. But at least I have you to commiserate with. Mm, not this time. I think I'm on Abby's side for this one. What? Okay, no, just because you had a bad experience, don't lump me into that group with the other guys. Okay, let me ask you this, Sebastian. Since you just let Abby down, why is it so easy for you guys? There's not enough beer in the world to answer that question. So, what are we doing for Christmas? Oh, sorry. Yeah, this year, I'm spending it with my dad. What? No. No, you never do that. I know, but... My mom is going on some tropical vacation. She's going to be in the Caribbean frolicking with her book club friends, so my dad knew I was going to be alone. Thanks, Dad. Now I spend Christmas alone. Aww. Well, not unless you call Abby. <coughs> no. <laughs> Hey. Morning. Do you have your designs with you? No. Go back and get them and show Mia. <laughs> I don't have time today. Not today, Sebastian. Go! If you don't, I'm not bringing you any more dinners. You wouldn't dare. Yeah? Try me. Go. I have some options for January's Mexican Ruins bathing suit shoot. I got exclusive access to use these specific locations. Some of them are your top choices. Perfect. <sighs> yeah. Um, I also have something else I'd like to show you. Like or need? Like? I don't really have time for like right now. Is everything okay there, Mia? No. My brother just texted me that he is coming to town very soon. Oh. The Playboy brother. Yeah, I'm just not in the mood to deal with Cooper's shenanigans and cleaning up his messes. You know, Christmas is hard enough to come out unscathed. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Hello, Pierre. Uh, Pierre, we're already shooting. Okay, look, if you want to add a necklace and earrings, you're going to have to get it here ASAP. I mean, now. Okay, I'll let everyone know. Pierre wants to add some expensive jewelry to the shoot. Of course he does. That's what he always wants. How long do we have Alec and Tiffany for? Only about another two hours. I'll let Helmet know. Tiwa Tiwa Khan. My first choice, too. Let's do it. Hey, Dad. Uh, it's me. I wanted to see if you got my email about my flights. I'm coming in on the 23rd. And I'm kind of hoping you can pick me up from the airport. If you can't, it's fine. I can get a rental car. I'm really looking forward to seeing you. I love you. Bye. Okay, slow the pause. Turn to me, that's good. So, Pierre wants to add some jewelry, a necklace, and two earrings. Yeah, when? Soon. Sure. Wait. Okay, we wait. Keep going. Nice. You did say soon, didn't you? Hours ago. Yeah, so what's the hold up? You know, it, it's a different excuse every time. I'm just gonna call him again. You do realize, with Tiffany long gone, you're going to have to mod. I don't see why. Well, Mia's certainly not going to. 
It's too late to get to anyone else. Oh, and you're right. With the new website deadline, there's no other choice. Please tell me you're from Pierre. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Relax. You're going to look gorgeous. <laughs> Whether or not I do, I'll do this one for you. Thank you, baby. Look. Wait here, darling. My feet are killing me. And leave me to suffer the wrath of my sister alone? Precisely. Hmm. Mm. I'll be down in a few minutes. Okay. I warned you I'd be visiting. I just didn't think it'd be so soon. Well, aren't you happy to see your big brother? No, I'm not. I don't have the time or energy to deal with you and clean up your mess. Oh, I, I'm not here to make a mess. I'm just here to celebrate Christmas. With the beautiful Brittany. Wasn't there a Brittany a few flings back? Yes. We are working on our third re-hookup. She gets me. Anyway... I'm here to celebrate Christmas with her family. Your novel. I know, right? Mm. So what do you say? What do I say about what? Do the Christmassy thing with us this year. Roast chestnuts and drink eggnog. We are the last of our family empire, kiddo. Would it kill you to relax and flick a champagne flute with us? Yes, actually, it would. Fasten your seatbelts, Mia. I'm in town for a spell. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We're done. High five. <laughs> You're free as a bear. Seven. In a one horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go. Laughing all the way. <laughs> Bells on bob tail ring. Making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. A day or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride. And soon Miss Betty Bright was seated by my side. The horse was leaning back. Oh, hey, great the idea. Trip, There's trip, a woman oh, we got down the hall, oh, all the way down. Bells, can't miss her. Bells, dire need is Christmas right. cheer. Oh, what fun it is to ride. Hey, excuse me. That was my floor. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Mrs. Claus, right? Back in our showgirl days? I am not showgirl Claus. I'm... Standing in for her. You're feisty. I think you're stuck with me. I'm not stuck with you, so thank you. Oh. Great. I guess you really are stuck with me. Wow. Do you have huh. a cell phone? I do. Um, can you please call somebody so that uh, we can let them know that we're stuck and I can get back to work? Why would I want to do that? When I can do this.
Seriously, you can't keep your hands off a bimbo model wearing diamonds? You actually think I'm a bimbo model? Those diamonds suit you well, although a little bit more cleavage would enhance the overall look. Hey. <laughs> Those were real diamonds she was wearing. Are you hungry? I am famished. Let's go have dinner. Well, you certainly look ready for a cold drink to cool you off. Nothing happened. Nothing for you to worry about. I'm not worried. I'm amused. Besides, I have you. And my manicured hands are not about to let you go. How's the Chateau Kevy Wevy? Touch bland, just like his company this evening. Mm -hmm. It's been a long day. I'm tired. Sweetheart, I'm gonna go freshen up. That should give you plenty of time to get your mind back where it belongs, on me. I just heard that groan from the other side of the wall. What's wrong? Yeah, I just spent like 15 minutes trying to hang these lights and they all just collapsed on me. Okay, seriously, what's wrong? Did plans fall through with your dad? No, those are still on. Can you help me out here? Yeah. So, th today this guy at work decides randomly to just kiss me in the elevator, like majorly kiss me. And then when we get down to the bottom floor, I guess it's his girlfriend. She looks at me and she calls me a model bimbo. Why'd she call you a model bimbo? I was wearing a uh, skimpy little outfit because I was standing in for a model for a shoot this evening. I was in like a sexy Mrs. Claus outfit. Please tell me you have these pictures. See, you guys, you're all... Uh-uh, no, no, don't lump me in with you guys, no. Well, the only reason this guy kissed me is because I was dressed kind of bimbo-y and now all you care about is how I looked in the skimpy dress. Okay, just because I'm your neighbor doesn't underestimate the fact that I can't appreciate you dressed as a sexy Mrs. Claus. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you just made my point. I did, didn't I? Mm-hmm. So, did you uh, show your designs to Mia? Oh, I tried. Maybe not as hard as I should have. I tried. You gonna try again? So why'd this guy kiss you? You know, I have no idea. There was mistletoe in the elevator. Really? That's all it takes, a little mistletoe. You're like... <gasps> no, that's not all it takes. So then what made him so special? Nothing. Nothing. There was nothing special about him or his kiss. Good morning, Mia. I have your skinny double cappuccino, your printed schedule. I also emailed it and I confirmed every meeting. He's in town and he wants to be a part of Trend. Who? Oh, your brother. Oh, my. Yeah, he's never had any interest in the business and now all of a sudden he does. He's just always just cashed the checks and flirted with the models and now, now he wants to be involved right from the very beginning starting this morning. I don't get it. How? I mean, what, what does be involved mean? I have no idea. I mean, he's not good at anything except for partying and treating women like disposable objects. Now he's going to come in around lunchtime, he's going to flirt with all the pretty women in the office, and then he'll leave for happy hour. So just say no. You don't need him. You're the boss, right? I can't. We're equal partners. So hold him accountable. Give him some work. If he has to roll up his sleeves and work for something, I'm sure he'll get bored of it and start frolicking back to his old lifestyle. <laughs> All right, you're going to go and you're going to get him and you're going to bring him back here. Oh, no, 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 Mia, you know my schedule is right down you to the, the minute. necessary arrangements because he has no work ethic, whereas you, you are full of zealous interest in this company. And if anyone is going to scare him away from the trend, it's going to be you. Go get him. Right. Well, I... I only have myself to thank for my brilliant ideas. Thank you, self. <laughs> Here, I'm texting you his address. Great. 
Thanks. I hate these lids. found me, huh? <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. No, I didn't find you. Uh, you're here? That's because I'm looking for Cooper Montgomery. You found him! Okay, just so you understand, I am not here because of a meaningless kiss in an elevator. Meaningless? Really? Yeah. Wow. Your sister told me all about how you like to uh, pick up models, give them really cheesy pickup lines. So you are from Trent? <gasps> I'm Mia's assistant. <laughs> But you were modeling last night. Yeah, it's irrelevant. I'm in a really big hurry. If you could please get your things. I gotta tell you, um, I'll be the first to admit that I have kissed many women. But last night, that kiss, that was amazing. I mean, that was, that was different. I mean, that kiss, that kiss was electric. <clears throat> you know what would be... Amazing would be if you could just go ahead upstairs and get dressed so that I can get us both to work. That is, of course, if you are still interested in helping Mia. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm still very interested. All right, listen. You, you are going to have to show some respect if we're going to be working together. I'm not going to be one of your scores. No, 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 no. You are definitely not a score. But I am going to win you over. Oh, okay. You and I, we're going to be friends. Just hurry. We got a lot to do. I just got to put my shoes on. Hey, sis. You are not here, therefore you're late. I am ready for work. I'm with our beautiful assistant right now. Whoa, she's not a plaything, Cooper. She's my assistant, and she has work to do. Actually, since I am co-owner of Trend, she's our assistant, and I haven't had my breakfast yet. So our assistant is going to accompany me to breakfast. What? 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 Perfect opportunity for me to get caught up on Trend. You know what, Cooper? If you are playing either one of us, I am going to grab... Don't worry, sis. Love you. Shall we? I'm famished. There's a deli across the street from the trend. It's quick and convenient. Yeah, I don't do quick and convenient. It's not what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> don't believe everything my sister tells you. She's jaded when it comes to men. Well, she comes by it honestly, it seems. She's been hurt before. Sounds like you have, too. Which is why I have a keen eye for men who are heartbreakers. Well, since quick and convenient is what you're after, how about a chocolate croissant and a coffee, please? What will you be having? Nothing. I already had breakfast, thanks. A chocolate croissant and a coffee, please. Coming right up. Last night, I perused back issues of Trin and checked out some of the archives on the website. It's very conscientious of you. Not really. I was just looking for photos of you. Can we keep it professional, please? How long have you been working at Trin? About two years. Mm -hmm. My sister's a real taskmaster, isn't she? Uh -huh. Mia is incredibly dedicated. She's honest, hardworking. I mean, what she's accomplished, I really admire her, and I really like her. Does she have you working over Christmas? No. Do you have any plans for Christmas? I'm not sure how that's relevant. I need to know whether or not I need to hire a temp in your absence. Okay, I am spending Christmas with my dad and his new family. His family? Not yours? Well, he got remarried and now he has a new family. 
Are you close? We were. Until he got remarried. Hmm. How long ago was that? <laughs> when I was a teen. Our mother and father were a merger. They knew it. I knew it. Mia knew it. And if they stepped out on each other, when we got wind of it, it didn't bother them one bit. Maintaining the marriage maintained the merger less costlier than a divorce. Man, that, that explains Mia's cynicism towards romance. That. She had her heart broken by a really nice guy. Couldn't handle the Montgomery name. Hmm. Well, you seem to, uh, have romance mastered. On the contrary. <laughs> uh, one time, the, the only time that I was ever romantic or even felt romantic was 12 hours ago in an elevator. This Montgomery. It's Cooper. And I won't mention our connection again. Thank you. For the rest of the morning. Wow, you have a beautiful smile. Well, I tend to smile when I get a text from my boyfriend. You don't have a boyfriend. Excuse me? You don't know anything about my life or who or what I have in it. I know that if you had a boyfriend, you wouldn't have kissed me that way. Uh, you kissed me that way when you had a girlfriend waiting for you in the lobby. Yeah, we're not that serious. Well, me and my boyfriend are that serious. Whatever you say, sexy Santa. It's Jenna. I cannot believe that you guys are just turning up right now. It wasn't my idea to go fetch him. She is quite fetching. You know what, Jenna, can you give Cooper and I a minute alone, please? Absolutely, he's all yours. Wow. Have a seat. I want you to stay away from Jenna. She's the best assistant I've ever had, and she's one of the reasons that I've been able to build this company to where it is now. She's smart. She's got a great head on her shoulders, and she's easy to work with. She's a godsend, and I don't want you blowing it just because you have some itch that you need to scratch. Okay. There's no doubt in my mind that she is the best at what she does. But the reason that this company thrives, little sister, is because of you. Because it is your life. It is your whole life you have nothing else i would rather have a thriving successful business where i foster creativity and i employ over a hundred people than have some fun-filled shallow life that's meaningless and chasing meaningless relationships okay. they had meaning at the time stay away from jenna she's too good for you just stick with Brittany. she's your perfect match I'm gonna need some office space. Wait, you, you wanna stay working here at Trend? Yes. And the office next door looks quite roomy. That's Jenna's. Well, yeah, I mean, who better to learn from other than you? And I highly doubt you wanna play mentor to me. If you have some ulterior motive... Coat. Hey, Rumi. Rumi? Oh, we're gonna be office mates. Did this come from... from Mia? No, that came from me. Hey, how about a tour of Trent? That might possibly involve the elevator. <laughs> I actually had the exact same idea. A tour. Uh, Audrey, could you come in here for a moment? Mm -hmm. Who's Audrey? Oh, um... She's our lovely receptionist, and she is going to take you on a tour. We have several subcontractors with their offices on the seventh floor, and she's going to take you to meet them. It's going to be great. A couple hours worth of visiting. Wow, you don't play fair, do you? <laughs> I don't play, period. This isn't a game. Show me the ropes, Audrey. Okay. Fourth floor. Cooper, 
sure. It's wonderful to see you. I didn't know you were in town. A surprise for Mia, actually. Yeah, I'm sure that was one heck of a surprise. That it was. Are you home for Christmas? And then some. As in through New Year's. As in today is my first day working at Trend. Oh, really? Hmm? How is Mia handling it? The gritted teeth. I bet she is. Good for you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the support. Unlike my sister. I am supportive. Change is good. That it is. Yeah, I was a lot like me. I was married to my job, kept my mind busy to distract my heart. Was? Is it past tense? Past tense. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just need to meet the right person to inspire you. You do, don't you? Thank you. Sixth floor. Welcome home. You're a maestro now? Coop? Coop! <laughs> yeah! The prodigal brother has been there! This is your job, and I don't need to tell you what colors to bring. I just, you know, I'm giving my two cents. I trust you, though. Send what you want. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? Merry Christmas to you, too. <laughs> well, that was quick. I'm a fast learner. Well, you know what? That That is a good thing. I have something else for you. These are the annual account reports and business portfolio summary for the company. You need to familiarize yourself with every single detail of the business. I'm on it. Baby? Hey, baby? Um, you, uh, remember what I told you about yesterday, about what happened in the elevator? He's there with you right now, isn't he? Right, right across from me, sitting here right now. He's actually Mia's brother. No way, really? You want me to pretend I'm your fake boyfriend, don't you? That's right, baby. <laughs> Well, now that I'm your fake boyfriend, I would like to address the fact that you don't respond to any of my text messages. Okay, it has been a very hard and long day. Have you shown me your designs yet? <sighs> yeah, I just haven't, I haven't had a chance to yet, no. You're going to, right? Yes, sir. I am. Good. You have pleased your sir. <laughs> None of that. Stop. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, my, my boyfriend. Yeah, I gathered. You told him about the elevator? Yeah. I mean, he's my boyfriend. I tell him everything. Wow. Did you tell him it was a kiss like no other? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, honey. Hi. So, uh, I assume you got my message about my flight? Yeah, yeah, I did. Can you pick me up from the airport? Uh, you know, why don't you uh, get a rental? Oh. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And I uh, emailed you some suggestions for uh, a Christmas present for Ruth. You know, she can be quite picky. Yes, I know. She's quite picky. So it's all settled then. Uh, we're good. Jim? I, uh, I gotta get going. I love you. Bye, Dad. Who's the picky woman? She's my stepmother. Though she would prefer that I never called her that. In fact, if it were up to her, she would have no contact with me at all. <laughs> her loss. <sighs> I uh, have to... I have to uh, go to... Um, I have a... Business errand, so, yeah, um, yeah, welcome, and uh, we'll see you later. Enjoy the reading. All right. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. 
Hey, so is Cooper treating you all right, either here at the office or personally? I'm wondering. Huh. Uh, nothing I can't handle. Good. Lynn, you have a second to just chat about this Mexican ruin shoot, these locations? Absolutely. Knock, knock. Yes? Hey. I see that Jen is busy talking to me. I'm going to leave these photos for her. You tell her to come talk to me when she picks uh, which one she wants to use. Will do. Hockey dog. My main man. Poop. If you have a minute, I wanted to show you something. Sure. Check these out. Oh, who's the designer? Me, actually. I didn't know that you had any interest in designing. I do. <laughs> Very much so. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love my job here. But uh, it's my passion. It's ultimately what I want to do. What do you think? You know what I think, Jenna? I, I just think that you're really good at what you do here. You're fabulous. You're indispensable to me. And, and I think that you should really focus on what you're good at, which is here, the trend. You're right. Hey, I only left something for you. Wants you to see him afterwards. What did you say to Jenna? Well, that's none of your business. Well, whatever it is, you crushed her. That was not my intention. What did you say about these? What did she send you in here? No, no. She chucked them in the trash when she left. And these are good. These are damn good. Well, it doesn't matter now. Well, it does to Jenna. You a wine or a beer, girl? What? Well, it's happy hour, and you look like you could use a happy drink. <laughs> Is that a yes? Um, I am remembering something that your sister said about you and happy hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Look, it's just that it's Friday, and I want to make you happy. <laughs> oh, um, that's sweet. Hello, darling. Coop, I hope you haven't forgotten that we have special plans this evening. Oh, right. It's a crazy day. It slipped my mind. How was your first day at Trend? It was... Very interesting. Hello. We didn't officially meet last night. I'm Brittany, Cooper's girlfriend. Oh, yes. Jenna. And not a bimbo model, it appears. No. I'm not. <laughs> I imagine a model has a much more exciting life than an assistant. <laughs> um... 
You know, it was, it was a pleasure meeting you, Brittany. And I hope you two have a fabulous evening. It's Friday night, darling. I'm ready to have some fun. <laughs> Wow, when did you get to be so catty? I'm not catty, I'm sassy. <laughs> Besides, that's one of the things you said you loved about me. Oh, yeah, that word is not part of our situation. Honey, I'm home. So do you have a kiss for your sir? Hey, I'm just playing along. You're the one that started it. So, how'd it go with Mia today? Mm -hmm. I knew there was a reason why I was hesitant to show her my designs. She was less than thrilled by them, and then politely told me to stick to my day job. And now I have to deal with her brother and his girlfriend. The one that called you the model bimbo? Mm -hmm. That's the one. Oh, and then take a look at this. My dad actually sent me an email with Christmas gift suggestions for Ruth, her son, and his kids. Do you even know these people? No, I mean, I've met the son once, but... I have to go shopping tomorrow now. Will you go with me? Well, I guess since I am your boyfriend, I am duty-bound. Actually, you should be duty-bound to Abby. She was a catch and a keeper. I know, I gotta figure that out. Although I am getting used to you calling me sir. <laughs> well, don't. I think I'm almost done here. Lots of shopping. Hey, that guy that we always see at the bar, he's watching you. Where? Oh, oh my gosh, that's that's, that's, uh, that's Cooper. That's Mia's. That's Mia's brother. Oh, oh my god, he's coming this way. What do we do? You're my boyfriend. What do we do? I'm your boyfriend. Yes. Okay, I'm your boyfriend. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hi. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah. Wow. How are you? I'm great. I'm, I, we're just doing some Christmas shopping for my dad and his family, you know. Very nice. Yeah. Oh. Hi. <laughs> I'm Sebastian. The boyfriend. Yes, yeah, my boyfriend. Oh. Yeah. You look familiar. Yeah, well, uh, I bartend over at uh, Verdes. That's it. Hmm. You're a very lucky man, Sebastian. <laughs> yeah? Of course I am. Be with a lady who's so smart, talented, beautiful, charming, sweet, oh my gosh. caring, okay, okay. emotionally beautiful. <laughs> that she is. <laughs> Pleasure. I'll see you at the office on Monday. See you then. Have a great weekend. You too. Hey, if I was your real boyfriend, I would be totally jealous right now. What? What are you talking about? Why? Because he's totally into you. No, no. He has a girlfriend. In fact, as far as I've heard, he's got several girlfriends. Okay, I really doubt he's giving any of them that big, toothy smile he's given you. I mean, there was genuine interest there. I mean, did you see how, how angry he got when he found out that we were boyfriend and girlfriend? Look, he is just one of those guys. He's not trustworthy. He always has to have a new girl, a shiny new toy, super fickle with women. No. Okay, he may be all those things, but he's still into you. Brittany. Free for dinner tonight? It's so nice having the old Cooper back. What is it that you like about me? That's a silly question. Okay, you're drop-dead handsome. You're sexy. You're confident. Women love you, but I have you. You have the means to enjoy the finer things in life. Things we both enjoy. Good food, good wine, first-class travel. We fit. I'll be right back, darling. I'm gonna go powder my nose.
Can I get you another glass of wine? Hmm? No, thanks. Sebastian's not working tonight, is he? Nope, not tonight. Date night, right? Yeah. They make a cute couple. Couple? Sebastian's girlfriend broke up last week. No, 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 no. I saw him and Jenna together today. <laughs> Jenna's not Sebastian's girlfriend. She's not. No. She's his next-door neighbor. They're just good buddies. Really? Really. Thanks. <laughs> you look happy. Brittany, honey, mm -hmm. those reasons why you think we fit, I'm not feeling it anymore. I, I don't want to fit for the reasons that you think we fit. My life is going in a different direction. Excuse me? I need space. Brittany, I, I need to focus on work. You've never focused on work before. Okay, well, things are different now. I don't know. I'm different. They're different only for the moment. But you'll come back to me. You always do. Is everything okay? Is everything all right with Mia? I didn't wake Sebastian, did I? No. No, no, no. Um, we just, we were falling asleep on the couch. He's asleep. <laughs> Why are you calling? I was wondering if you wouldn't mind meeting me tomorrow at Trend. Totally work-related. Well, technically... Tomorrow, uh, today is Sunday. Yeah, listen, I have sort of an interesting contribution that I want to make to Trend, and I need your help. Seriously? Seriously. Hmm. Okay. Why are we whispering? Because I don't want to wake up Sebastian. All this. this? This is my contribution to drink. Hmm. A picnic, huh? What? No, the points. Hey, yeah. Look, I uh, hate to say it, I'm sure you worked hard on all this, but we gotta get it all out before the morning. No, 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 no. Listen, I know that my sister is all anti-Christmas, but they're poinsettias. Come on, they're, they're beautiful, they're tropical. They will look great in the offices. Help me set them up. I'm sorry, Mia has a very strict policy against any holiday decorations in the office, and, and she's my boss. I have to respect her wishes. As part owner of Trend, I have equal say in the matter. I gotta go. What? No, 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 no. Hey, 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 it's okay. Brittany and I broke up. Wait, well, why are you telling me this? Why, why should I care? Well, because I was hoping that you feel the same way I do. 
I have a boyfriend. Sebastian is a he's a great guy. He's smart and he's funny and he's reliable and Are those the things that you like about him? The things I love about him. And why did you kiss me the way you did? Steak. So stupid. Like, you, you, this was just one big ploy to get me here. You had no plans on working today, did you? You saw me with a great guy. I became more of a challenge. It's just a game, right? You know, the more I see you in action, the more I regret that kiss. Okay, hey, no. No, 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 no. Don't say that. I have not been able to think about anything else. What's your ankle here? You want one more romantic encounter with me to get me out of your system, is that it? So you can have conquered another woman, inflated your ego again, one more notch on your bedpost, and then you can go sauntering back to good old faithful Brittany and back to your playboy ways. No, I'm sorry, this is never, ever, ever gonna happen. Hi, Dad. Hi, Jen. Uh, I'm sorry, there's, um, there's been a change of plans. What do you mean? Well, Ruth's sister and her family are going to be coming in to, uh, spend Christmas with us as well. So? Well, we, we don't have the room to house everybody. Um, well, Dad, I can, I can stay in a hotel. I don't mind. No, 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 no. I, 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 I can't let you do that. Time now, okay? Ruth doesn't want me spending Christmas with you, does she? Anytime Honey, now. it's complicated. No, actually, Dad, it's not that complicated. It's pretty simple. You either want me with you for Christmas or you don't. It's not just about what I want and about me. Jim. Look, uh, right after the holidays, we'll, we'll spend some time together, huh? Just, just the two of us. Okay? Fine. I have to go. I have to go now. Jenna, wait! Jenna! Jenna, wait! Hey, hey. I cannot deal with you right well, now. Well, you're gonna, okay? Well, you don't want me to see you cry? What? That was a crap move that your dad pulled back there. Come here. Spent <laughs> thousands of dollars on airplane tickets and presents thinking I could finally trust him. I should have known better. What is wrong with me? Why can't he love me the way he loves his new family? Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing wrong with you. You are so easy to love. Don't ever doubt that. He broke my mom. And now I feel like he's breaking me. You're stronger than that. Now in the moment it's hard to find. But you'll find it. the floor. this coffee thank you I see the Cooper has put decorations all over the office except for mine of course but makes me worried he's up to something he's different I'm not sure what it is but he's called a meeting 
with the two of us in the conference room. M me? Us? Mm-hmm. What about? I don't know, but I'm nervous. All right, I just have to make a quick call, and then I'll meet you in the conference room. How you doing? I'm good, thanks. Cooper? What's this all about? Hey, sis. Let's see. <clears throat> when I came to town, I wanted to be a part of Trent. My motives were less than noble. I'll give you that. But since I've been here, I've seen how much this company means to you. Maybe for the first time ever, and it's about time I started to respect that. Which is why I want to throw a Christmas Eve holiday party for Trent. I will cover all the costs. Okay. Now tell me what's really going on. Nothing's going on. I'm sincere, I promise you. Okay, I'm not an idiot, and I can feel this zing between the two of you, and it's palpable. So whatever it is that's going on, whatever's happening, I want to make sure that it's not just to conquer Jenna. No offense, Jenna, it's just his M.O. I'm not here to conquer anybody. I think too highly of Jenna. The drag her into a way of life that quite frankly holds no interest for me anymore. I know, I can't believe it myself. Okay, <clears throat> Christmas Eve is only a few days away, so you don't have a lot of time if you're gonna do this. I know, which is why I'm gonna need your help. If you agree, if you agree, I think it'll be a good thing for you to get involved in since your Christmas plans have changed. Are you not gonna visit your father? <sighs> no. Mm. All right, well, it's up to you, Jenna. I think the party is a great idea. And I, too, would like a clean, fresh start. As long as it doesn't interfere with the rest of your work. Hey, love the poinsettias, cool. Yeah, not too much. Yeah, I'm surprised Mia didn't have a coronary. Wishful thinking. All right, I need your help with something. Take uh -huh. a look at these. Well, these are marvelous. Whose designs? They're Jenna's. Jenna? <laughs> yeah. I did not know she had such talent. Yeah, apparently nobody did. Listen, I want your help with something, all right? I want to get these made, and I want to display them at the Christmas party. I heard about your little soiree. Yeah. It's a great idea. Thank you, thank you. So what do you think? You think you can get these to the next stage? I'll do more than that. I'll spearhead the project. You're a genius. You're a genius. You play with dolls, but you're a genius. Listen to me. I want to keep it a secret. Understood. Sure. Okay, yeah. Sounds good. Bye. Hey. Hey. I got some ideas for the possible locations for the party. I'm thinking museum hall, art gallery. You have any specific locations that you want to scout? I got a list going. Some other ideas that I want to discuss with you over dinner. A work dinner. Or no dinner, just work some place where there may or may not be food. A work dinner is fine. Yeah? Perfect. Shall we? It's not even five. It's close enough.
Hi, Jenna Cooper. Hi. I'm not interrupting anything, I hope. Oh, no. <laughs> Just riding the elevator down. Because it looked like you might be taking advantage of the mistletoe. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, but you know, mistletoe, Christmas time, even if we were, it wouldn't be a big deal. <laughs> If a kiss happens in an elevator... Stays in the elevator? Not always. Have a pleasant day. <laughs> okay, I want a fresh start. With everything. Me too. Uh, glad you said that. I, I have to come clean about something. Sebastian is not my boyfriend. He's my best friend and neighbor. Thank you for your honesty. Still, the two of you together, just... It's really something. Oh, no. I, uh, I forgot we were supposed to decorate Christmas trees tonight. Oh, we should call it a night then, all right? Stick with your plans. No. Why don't we do both? I can call him. I'm sure it'll be fine. We can all go get Christmas trees. We can even get you one. You're not just being nice? No, not just being nice. Good, because I really want to decorate a Christmas tree. <laughs> but I don't have any ornaments. Please, we can take care of that. That's easy. I think, I think that'll fit. And, take and it. Tag this one. Take okay, that fine. one. Right here. Oh, All right. look. You and I should get twin trees. Oh, my gosh. Matching trees. Selfie. Yeah. <laughs> Selfie matching trees. Look at us with our matching trees. Ah! What happened to you last night? Good morning to you too, Mia. <laughs> Quite chipper this morning. <laughs> Nothing scandalous. You're so funny. How's the party planning going? How's Cooper doing? It's actually going really well. We decided on Dickinson's for location and we got Verdes to cater. Wow, Verdes, that's impressive. That's hard to get. Has he been behaving himself? <laughs> yeah, you know, he's, he's, he is. He actually seems like a pretty decent guy. He is, but that's also part of his charm, so be careful. I will be careful. See ya. What happened to you last night? Christmas. Uh, Christmas spirit. Past, present, or future? Present. With the hopes that it might turn future. How are Jenna's designs coming? You thought they looked fabulous as drawings? Wait until you see the reality. Whoosh. Huh? <laughs> Whoosh. Whoosh. You're a genius. Okay. Okay, this is what I want to do. I want to get these put up on mannequins. I want to set them up in the function room, backlight them. Coop, wait. Coop. Don't worry about the lighting, okay? Leave it to me. It's going to look amazing. All right. <laughs> what you're doing for Jenna? It's wonderful. Yeah, she's really wonderful. I noticed you noticed that. Everyone in the trend has noticed that you've noticed that. Did you?
you even try to get any sleep last night? <sighs> Not really, no. Yeah, me neither. And it was totally worth it. It kind of was, wasn't it? Before we dismantle the Christmas tree set, I was wondering if we could pull a few shots, maybe to throw up onto the blog? Yeah, sure, Mia. Yeah. I'll help. No. Sure. Okay, you can help. You know, it just dawned on me that this is where Helen shot you as Santa's sexy helper. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, look at that. Do this. It's not right. Oh, yes, it is. You know it is. No, uh, uh, we're just caught up in the moment. And, and when the novelty fades, the feeling will, too. No, it won't. How do you know? I have never felt this way before. Right, right. It's a new feeling. It'll fade. I can't believe this. God, I couldn't stand to be a novelty. Especially not with you. No, Jenna. Jenna, are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's nothing. Do you want to talk? Uh, it's personal. Is it about Cooper? <laughs> I just don't want to get hurt by some heartbreaking... In his defense, I do think he is earnest about making a change. Maybe he's worth taking a chance on. I'm not good at taking chances. Neither was I when I had my heart broken. My love! And I'm so glad that I took a chance. Everything's going to work out just fine. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good, thank I'm good, Helmet, thank you. Whatever she told you, take her advice. Take a chance. get into it with you. All right, I am exhausted. Oh, well, look it, darling. I'm not in the mood to get into anything either. It's just that tomorrow's my birthday and I was really hoping to spend it with you. I don't think that's such a good idea. Please, as friends. I'll go make you some coffee. Okay. Oh, a Christmas tree. That's new and different. Brittany, I'm really exhausted. I just, I don't really think we should. I've just left myself out, okay?
Okay. So, are you gonna tell me what happened at work today? I mean, it's gotta be something to do with Cooper. He's had your stomach in knots ever since that kiss. We kissed again. Really? Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, you'd have to be blind and deaf not to realize he's crazy about you. No, no. He's crazy about the challenge. I'm a novelty to him. <laughs> See? Just like I said. I told him he should go back to Brittany, and less than an hour later, there he is. I don't know. I mean, he looks pretty comatose in this picture. I think it was staged. I'll tell you, it probably isn't. And it doesn't matter, because I could never trust a guy like Cooper. There's always going to be some Brittany from his past, or Brittany from his future. Jen, I was with you guys for 12 hours yesterday. I mean, you're not only selling yourself short, you're selling him short. told you to stay away from her. She's too good for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But what if I want to be good enough for her? No. You stay away from Jenna. You stick with someone like Brittany. Okay? She's more matched for you. joining us for dinner tonight, sir. Yeah. It's my birthday and we're celebrating. Oh, happy birthday. We have some delightful specials this evening, but not clearly as delightful as the photo and the text that you sent Jenna last night. I'm sorry, what? Oh, don't act so shocked. You were right there in the photo with Brittany draped all over you. Oh, oh I especially like the clever text that went along with the photo. I have it right here. It says, <clears throat> Although you may get to work with him, I get to go home with him. Well, congratulations on picking such a stellar individual to date and go home with. May I offer you a glass of Chateau Kevy Webby? A word, honey? Don't look at me like that. You know I fight for what's mine. I am not yours. Yes, you are. You always come back to me. It's your birthday. I felt strangely obligated, but now we are done. We're through. You've said that we're through before, but you can't change. You're drawn to me. We're too much alike. You know, before that comment might not have bothered me, but now I find it insulting. You're right, I did come back to you a couple of times in the past, but I never found you so revolting as I do right now. Goodbye, Brittany. On behalf of Cooper Montgomery and myself, I want to speak to the manager now. Man, I so got the smackdown on Britney tonight, and it was awesome. And now, I'm totally done. That explains this text I got from her. I called Britney out on the text that her and Cooper sent, and Cooper seemed genuinely surprised about it, so I think she might have staged the whole thing. Wait a minute, what do you mean you're totally done? I mean, I'm fired. I'm done. According to the management, it was because they got complaints from both Cooper and Brittany, but Cooper stormed out of there ahead of time, so I don't really know how accurate that is. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Are you kidding? It's like the best thing that ever happened to me. I feel totally awesome. Yeah. You know, you really are the only guy in the world I can trust. Thank you.
Well, you're welcome, but trust isn't about having someone you can rely on all the time. Trust is about having someone that, no matter how bad things get or how messed up everything gets, you still want to make things right with them. Come on. Don't tell me that. Tell Abby. I figured I'd find you here. What happened to you? Jenna. I don't know. Damn it, Cooper. I know. I know. I can't help it, and I don't know what to do about it. You're sure that she's not just one of your flavor of the minutes? I don't want a flavor of the minute. I want a lifetime. I wanted a lifetime with that guy, Tyler. Remember him? What happened there? Yeah, he left you. And he was decent. He wasn't even a player. I don't want to be a player anymore. I want to change. Okay, well, <clears throat> I think that if you really want to make this work, you got to leave Trend for like a week. Just give it a rest for a week. Because Jenna's not on her game. And when you're around, she can't focus. And we need her to focus. So whatever's going on between the two of you, just take a break for a week. There's something I want to show you that I've been working on. Give me a second. Okay. All right, take a look at these. These are fabulous. They're Jenna's. I want to display those at the Christmas party. She's really talented. Yeah. Yeah, she is. No, I don't want to lose her. I can't either. You really love her. Pretty much from the moment I laid eyes on her in the elevator. What do you say? You help me win her back? Will you at least have dinner with me? I'm starving. You're buying. When was the last time we had dinner together? You and me? Yeah. I can't remember. Well, I hope it's not like when we had dinner with Father and he would just hurry up the dinner so that he could get back to work. You're not Father. I have his work ethic. He loved us, didn't he? Best as he could. My only real heartbreak with when Tyler and I broke up was that father told me he was disappointed he wasn't giving me away. What were you saying about haikus? No. 575. Is that what it is? Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. What can I get you? Oh, where's Sebastian? He got fired. Why? You're seriously asking? You're the one that got him fired. I did no such thing. But your girlfriend told our manager... Oh. Oh. First off, she is not, was not, and never will be my girlfriend. If Sebastian was fired, it was under false pretenses. He didn't deserve to get fired. If anything, he deserves a medal. Uh, thank you very much. All right, bye. Um, apparently I got my job back. That's great! What happened? I guess Cooper made things right. <laughs> That's great. Oh, I gotta go back to that job now. not coming in this week. Oh. It's not you. I told him to take some time off. He's more heartbroken than you are. Mia, yeah, I owe you an apology. You 
had justifiable reasons for what you said and I just ignored it and fell right in anyway and I'm sorry oh no don't be you were right Cooper is a decent guy it looks like you and I are both going to be working over Christmas so why don't we go to the party together we'll make a night of it we'll get our hair done we'll get many petties you'll see we'll have some fun thank you means a lot For you, Jenna. Not me. This is because of your talent and your creativity. We're going to honor that here at Trend. For the whole year, you can count on that. Oh my gosh, Mia. <laughs> Dad? Oh my gosh, Dad. I'm so proud of you, Jess. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, what about your. Never, family? never mind about them. Cooper called me, and I'm glad he did. I'm so glad I could be here to celebrate your special evening with you. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that. Oh my God, I mean, squirrel. Jenna. Pardon me, Papa. A few photos, yes? Yeah, yeah, okay. The beautiful sure. creature with her beautiful creations. Nice, nice. Next one. Hello. Holy moly. One of my favorites. Boom. Perfection. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Nice, nice, nice. Loving it. One more. With Mia, with Mia, yeah? Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I, I can't believe you did this for me. Thank you. I had nothing to do with it. It was actually all Cooper. What? He did it because he loves you. And even though I don't want to admit it, I actually believe him. <laughs> Where is he? He's waiting for you. Where? He said that he would be waiting where you guys first met. <laughs> <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> Secret keeper. <laughs> hey, Abby. My designs, my dad. You're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you know, uh, for a while there, all I could think about was that amazing kiss. <laughs> but then something happened, and we started spending more time together. And now all I can think about is your smile and your laugh and the sound of your voice when you say my name. When I'm not with you, you're all I think about. And when I am with you, all I can think about is how lucky I am to be with you. your father here for his blessing 
I even offered to pay his way, but <gasps> to his credit, he refused. <laughs> I want to spend the rest of my life proving my love to you. I don't want a day to go by that you doubt me. I can't change my past, but finding you in my present makes me want you for my future. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love you, Cooper. I love you. Oh, totally, totally my fault. Looks like you're having lid issues. Not anymore. I promise, I'm, I'm not following you. This elevator can be a little temperamental. First floor. I'm game if you are. <laughs> 